This is a spider angioma, and in this video, we're going to cover what this condition is, what it's caused by, what can be done about it, and sources where you can find out more about it. So first of all, what is a spider angioma? Well, it's essentially an enlarged blood vessel in the skin, resembling the body of a spider, from which the smaller blood vessels extend, and these can resemble the spider's legs. So what causes spider angiomas? Well, the exact cause of spider angiomas is not fully known. The vast majority affect healthy people, and most people only have one or just a few. Spider angiomas may appear when the body has increased levels of estrogen hormones, such as in pregnancy, or when people are taking the oral contraceptive pill. They might also occasionally occur in patients with liver or thyroid disease, and whilst they can develop at any age, they're more common in children. Now, it's important to note that they are not contagious and they are not cancerous. So what does a spider angioma look like? Well, a spider angioma has a central red spot which may be raised from which smaller blood vessels can radiate outwards. Pressing onto a spider angioma will make it disappear. On releasing the pressure, the blood will go back in, and this returns the red colour of the spider angioma. It may measure up to a centimetre in diameter, and the majority are on the face, upper chest, back and upper arms. In children, the back of the hands are also often affected. Now, because of its characteristic appearance, it can be diagnosed by simply looking at it without the need for any special tests. In terms of treatment, spider angiomas are of cosmetic concern only, so they're not usually treated on the NHS. In cosmetic clinics, the central artery can sometimes be treated with an electric current causing it to dry up. A vascular laser, such as the pulse dye laser or KTP laser, can target the blood in the central small artery, causing it to shrink. But again, laser treatment may not be available here in the UK on the NHS. Now, these treatments may hurt, but they don't usually need any local anaesthetic. They might leave a small permanent scar, like a dent in the skin, which is less common after laser treatment than after electrodesiccation. And it's also important to note that about a third of spider angiomas come back after treatment. Cosmetic camouflage is the other option. This is using makeup, and this can be useful if there are many spider angiomas which are causing cosmetic concern. Camouflage is essentially a type of special makeup which is matched to the color of your skin, which is water resistant. In children and some adults, spider angiomas may go away on their own over several years. And if spider angiomas are related to increased estrogen hormones and the levels then go back to normal, so for example, after a pregnancy or after stopping the oral contraceptive pill, the spider angiomas may go away within about nine months. I hope you found the video useful and informative, and for more information and extra resources, please check out the description box of this video. Thanks for watching.